If you have multiple brands or multiple businesses, the general rule is if you have the same team managing them, you keep them in one Google Workspace account. how to set up emails for Google Workspace that's operating like an umbrella company. You will have two operators overseeing multiple franchises under two different brands. Do I set up a workspace for each franchisee? It may get too complex with multiple different brands under management, any advice? Okay, Whew. this sounds like this might need to be appended to the other franchise question that I answered. So basically, each time you have a franchise, each brand should have one Google Workspace account because you can't have more than one Workspace account if you've got one domain name. So one domain name, one workspace account, that's pretty much it. If you've got multiple franchisees, like you're selling franchises, then you would create organizational units for each one of those franchises and they just get issued an email address in your domain name and they, they can just access their thing. There's some things you need to set up in the settings to maybe restrict automatic sharing of calendars between everyone, restrict automatic sharing of like Google Drive files with the whole company because your company is a franchise network and multiple people can see that. But if you have multiple franchises that are different brands, then what we're talking about is potentially using different workspace accounts. Now, if you have multiple brands or multiple businesses, the general rule is if you have the same team managing them, you keep them in one Google Workspace account. If you have multiple different teams managing them, you would put them in separate accounts. If you have one set of directors, you would bring them into one account. Multiple domain names, that's fine, one account. If you have different shareholders or different directors in one of those different brands or businesses, then you would keep them in separate accounts. Now, I say that's the general rule because it's up to you and how you want to do it. You can migrate data in and migrate data out as a business grows and matures or as circumstances change. If you were to choose to have all of your data in one place and then you have multiple brands in one account and later down the line you sell one of those brands, well, that's when you would pick up the phone to us, ask our team to do a data migration and we would migrate the data out and move that domain out of your business. That's totally fine to do. It's just a cost that you need to think about when you're maturing the business and potential liquidity event or circumstances change, you're gonna have that cost that is gonna hit you up. The short term advantage is you've got everything in one place and it's more convenient to operate from one account rather than two because it is quite clunky to work with multiple accounts. Now option B is that you have separate accounts set up and there are some cool things that you can do like whitelisting between the two Google Apps accounts or workspace they're now called and that whitelisting allows you to automatically share resources between them. But there's some downsides there as well. If you create something like a Google chat room and you want to add multiple people to it, you can't automatically add them. You need to send them an invitation. They need to open their email, click on the email to access the room. If you want to lock down certain resources to only be available to people in my company, which there's many different areas in the Google ecosystem that allow you to do that. Well, that wouldn't work for an external business that's operating out of a second Google Workspace account. Things like creating a Google chat room right now, unfortunately, doesn't allow you to change the setting of external users after you've created the room. So if you create a room for your management team and you spend a couple of years chit-chatting away in that room and it's got lots of history and information that you search through from time to time, and then you wanna add someone from outside the company into that room, but you didn't tick the box to make it an external compatible room at the start, well, then you get stuck. There are trade-offs either way. As much as possible, it's easier to do everything in one account if it's possible for you, but it can get messy if you've got external business partners, if you've got multiple brands that you need to manage that you wanna have some division between, if you have franchisees that are owned by different business owners and you wanna restrict accidentally sharing too many files or folders with them, or you're worried about the potential costs if you have hundreds or even thousands of users in the future under an account with multiple businesses living under it, one of those accounts is eventually going to have to be split out and demerged. Now, you're in luck if you need help with this. Our team manage mergers, demergers, migrations in, out, sideways with Google Workspace every day of the week. And we've literally delivered thousands of projects doing these over more than 15 years. So anything you want to do in the Google world, we've seen it all. We can do it with no downtime and 100% data integrity. So if you'd like some help with that, or if you're a consultant and you just want a helping hand on a project that you're working on, we can even help support you through that process as well. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.